Hey, I wanted to show you something that you've never seen before. Um, I'm going to try to prototype it. So I'm going to need uh, to get an induction motor and uh, some tiny uh, neodymium uh, half moons, but uh, I know how to build it and I know it'll work. Hold on while I spin the uh, gyroscope up. Um, but, uh, hold on a second here. Stop. I have that uh, gyromagnetic stabilization. Also, a frictionless uh, geomagnetic braking. Um, now, the only thing that needs to be added to this is a uh, an induction uh, an induction motor for spinning up uh, the flywheel and uh, two sets of. Uh, inverse polarity gimbal arrays which will require uh, half moon half moon neodymium iron borons like a half inch by half inch I'll need to uh, get eight sets of those but I got two applications here frictionless geomagnetic stabilization and another thing is uh, geomagnetic frictionless braking such that well, uh, the top of this gyroscope, hold on a second, let me get this neodymium out of the way. It doesn't have to be that large, the one that was hovering over my hand. On the top here, we have a neodymium and uh, we have a brass a flywheel. By the way, this is a uh, homopolar motor. If I were to actually attach uh, brushes to it and uh, draw the magnets in closer, uh, you actually have electric electricity generation. But obviously you have to input <laughs> more electricity into spinning up the flywheel then you'd get out but nevertheless uh, simply by attaching brushes to this you'd actually uh, have a uh, now Faraday uh, created uh, discovered this ages ago so that's not a new discovery um, however frictionless uh, geomagnetic uh, stabilization is not and you see, if I actually spin inverse to the spin of the flywheel, I get uh, counter-rotation stabilization. But if I actually spin with the direction of the flywheel, I get a multiplicative addition. If I spin it too far, it'll fly out of my hand. So, so you see, if I spin counterclockwise, that means the flywheel is going... Uh, when I spin my hand uh, counterclockwise, the flywheel is going clockwise. If I spin my hand clockwise, uh, that... Uh, causes multiplicative uh, movement on uh, on the flywheel so as you can see here if I were to spin up the flywheel inverse then obviously the results would be inverse but the only thing that needs to be added here is um, a frictionless uh, repulsor on top and bottom of the gyroscopic flywheel and then what I'd have to add is uh, an induction that's a powerful beast I have to add a, uh, an induction motor to sprint up the flywheel here, and then I would have a completely 100% frictionless. E. You could either have it for uh, one of two options, and the third I won't mention is a, a frictionless gyro, uh, geomagnetic uh, correction, and uh, then uh, secondly, a frictionless geomagnetic uh, uh, braking, and uh, that could be used uh, in miniature scale using uh, a, uh, a copper flywheel or a brass flywheel, brass is mostly copper anyway, um, for uh, braking without actually moving or applying uh, friction brakes. So you could actually, simply by changing, uh, the, st uh, changing uh, the, the state of, uh, like turning an internal wheel, let's make it really simple without getting into the details nobody's interested in, Simply by turning, instead of your wheels or applying brakes to a car, for example, what you could do is you could actually apply uh, inverse uh, movement that would be totally frictionless uh, to uh, the, the flywheel. You could actually have a set of flywheels. And, of course, keeping them moving, they'd be powered by a, a hubless uh, induction motor, but it would cause uh, braking. And so instead of actually applying braking, uh, applying brakes, all you have to do is actually change the gimbal to apply uh, immediate uh, loss of uh, forward momentum or whatever direction it is you're moving 
and the applications for that are actually phenomenal. Um, I'm surprised nobody's ever thought of geromagnetic braking before. I mean, someone might have... I'm just spinning up the flywheel again. Someone might have actually thought of geromagnetic uh, braking before, or, and I know they thought of a geromagnetic... Uh, 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 geromagnetic... Uh, uh, processional devices, but what nobody's ever thought of is a geomagnetic, uh, frictionless, hubless. Um, let me get this right here. Hold on a second. Geomagnetic stabilization device or a geomagnetic braking system, because as you can see here, see if I I spin my hand cl uh, clockwise. And of course, I have contact with my hand here, but all I have to add is an induction motor for spinning up, keeping the flywheel spinning, but since it would be frictionless, the only thing it's spinning against is uh, repulsor fields on the top and bottom axis of, uh, uh, of the flywheel axis. So, you'd have a, a geomagnetic frictionless... Uh, stabilization and you'd have uh, the ability to create a geomagnetic uh, braking system uh, that would require extremely little energy to keep rolling and uh, the more you increase uh, the speed uh, from the stator to the, the, the hubless geomagnetic I mean, the, the stator to the, uh, the, the gyroscopic flywheel the more you would increase the braking potential of the system and now, inductionless to charging, I mean, most people don't know this, but I mean, your toothbrush, whew, God, it's a powerful beast. Your toothbrush is an induction charger. It sits in your base. There's no exposed cords or sockets because you're going to your toothbrush gets wet. You know, that's a wireless induction charging. So, induction charging is absolutely nothing new. But applying uh, uh, permanent magnetism, which requires no power, and uh, current existing technology of... Uh, of uh, of uh, induction charging to a hubless, uh, uh, to a hubless uh, gyroscopic flywheel, and then applying uh, repulsor magnets on top and bottom, you're actually able to create a geomagnetic stabilization system. There's three things. The third one I won't mention. The second one is uh, geomagnetic braking, and uh, the more you increase the speed to the stator and resultantly to the flywheel through induction charging, then all you would have to do, now this is the fascinating part, and I know nobody's ever thought of this, is that since it's frictionless system, all you'd have to do is you'd have a capacitor banks that would dump an induction charge if a, break, a braking was needed to increase the flywheel. Of course, changing the momentum and the speed of the flywheel actually takes time, but the way <laughs> explaining this isn't so easy. Uh, the point being is that uh, uh, geomagnetic braking has uh, absolutely tremendous possibilities and nobody has ever thought of this before, which kind of amazes me. Um, the third thing I won't mention, I'll save that for later at some point in time, but I hope you get an idea. You've never seen anything like this before. Um, certainly not as mentioned uh, to uh, geomagnetic braking or uh, geomagnetic stabilization but especially uh, the premise of uh, frictionless geomagnetic braking and geomagnetic stabilization. There we go with that one. Um, because the only thing that would have to be added is a, a wireless induction for spinning up uh, the flywheel and a set of hubless repulsor to uh, the axle. Uh, of course, it has an axle that's hubless. I mean, we're, we're, Explain that to draw it out for you. How you, how you talk about a hubless axle? Um, it's actually rather easy. <laughs> it's not that difficult. Uh, it's difficult to picture without the drawing, but it would be a, a hubless, be a hubless flywheel, and all you'd have is repulsor uh, sets on uh, top and bottom. So you're actually applying a frictionless geomagnetic braking or geomagnetic frictionless uh, stabilization. So very, very interesting. And this is just a, a single. Uh, three-quarter inch neodymium iron boron with a hole in the center at one axle. Of course, this one is not a hubless, and obviously I'm spinning it up with a, 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 a Dremel tool off camera, but uh, the applications for this are rather astounding. The third one that I won't mention is uh, even more astounding, and I'm going to try to build that one.
So I thought I'd give you a picture into that and always expand your mind. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Just remember, uh, geromagnetic. <laughs>